What is blockchain? Does anyone really understand it? We went to Central Park and asked people here what they thought. What do you know about Bitcoin? Not a lot, I'm afraid. It's a virtual coin. Something that my son knows a lot about. You've never bought Bitcoin? No, I like the old credit card still. Have you heard the word blockchain? Yes, I have. What stopped you? Why haven't you gotten involved? I thought it was maybe just a phase. Yeah, Tamagotchis. Yeah, and Furbies, <laughs> etc. To be honest, I don't completely understand it at the moment. So that's a little bit of a barrier as well. well we're about to do a demo at our picnic set up just there with that man who was in a llama costume. If you're interested, do you want to join our picnic and we'll teach you how to use blockchain? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's do it. We sat down for a picnic and first of all gave a demo of how a centralised ledger works. If you guys wanted to exchange any goods, I'm going to keep track of what's being exchanged right here. Each person at the picnic made transactions and I recorded them in my notebook. I've recorded that in my central uh, ledger. But how can someone trust that I'm keeping an accurate record? This was, after all, a random stranger we invited to the picnic. Maybe I was just stealing pokies from her. There can be issues when just one person's keeping track. You can corrupt the person who's keeping track of the ledger. Uh, you can have a ledger that you can't understand at all because the writing's really messy. Or perhaps you were distracted and you didn't actually take note when the llama made his exchange. Along came blockchain, which was a way to solve this problem. So we simulated what it would be like to record these transactions on a blockchain. I'm going to give you all a piece of paper and you're all going to keep a ledger. When we made transactions, we announced them to the whole group and everyone wrote them down. I'm exchanging my pokey for some popcorn. Every transaction written down is an actual transaction that's taken place. However, it is possible for someone to try to spend the same money twice. If this happens, only one of those transactions can be recorded into the official record of transactions, and miners compete for the ability to write down that official record. So we're all going to compete for the ability to write this down by uh, tossing a coin. In our game, whoever gets two tails in a row gets to write down the transactions, and their record becomes the official record written into the block. I got tails. This is like what miners do. They solve problems trying to brute force a correct sequence, and whoever gets the correct sequence first is tasked with writing those transactions down into a block. And the problems they solve are so intensive that they are only solved every 10 minutes. Tails! All right, so he wins the ability. You write down on your ledger all the transactions that have just taken place. The transactions written in that block get added to a long chain of blocks filled with the transactions before it, and that's now the official record. The miner who transcribed that block also gets rewarded for his successful work. They win a certain number of bitcoins, it's called mining the bitcoins. If any miner tries to submit a block that doesn't match everyone's records, it's rejected. 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 That means that their bitcoin reward on that rejected block becomes valueless, and this is a way of safeguarding the system. Does that help your understand? Yeah, it helps heaps. Much clearer. What do you need to see happen before you'll be interested in buying Bitcoin and getting involved? I think as, as time goes on, I'm, if I see more people getting involved and really just seeing it uh, uh, become more mainstream and, and steady. I suppose if there's places that advertise that they accept it for payment, more would probably be you know, uh, an indicator for me to go out and research it. Now are you more interested in getting involved with Bitcoin? Uh, potentially, like especially if there's more llamas involved, for sure. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. I also have a Patreon account and wanted to give a special shout out to all the awesome people there. And a huge thank you to the sponsors of the show for making these videos possible. Thanks so much for watching. She used to just party, go all the way.